I recently discovered a new passion that I wanted to pursue through my paintings. And without realizing it, Studio Ghibli films, and specifically those created by Hayao Miyazaki, made a big inspiration into what and why I paint the things I do. In this video, I'll be talking about one of the secrets behind the success of Studio Ghibli films and how I have been using it in my artwork. So party, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Rum Boye, and for those who don't know me already, I'm an artist and I make videos just about that. But more importantly, I am a huge Studio Ghibli fan. Just realized I forgot something. Ta-da! Before we get on to this video, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on my post notifications so you're notified when next I upload a video. I upload pretty much weekly, so you never want to miss a video from me. We recently hit 16,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And if there is any video topic that you would like me to discuss in the future, drop it in the comments. There are a lot of reasons why Studio Ghibli films are so iconic. The animation that is unique to the studio, the storytelling, the cinematography, the music, which in Hayao Miyazaki's case is mainly, if not only, composed by Joe Hisaishi. Uh, apologies if I'm pronouncing any of the names in this video wrong. It's really easy to write a list of why I am a huge fan of these films. One of the reasons why I love Studio Ghibli films was this subconscious appreciation for the ordinariness of everyday scenarios. Which sounds weird. How can you watch an entire movie and say the thing that you enjoyed most was the bland everyday stuff? But that's my point exactly. Those everyday scenes are everything but bland. Hayao Miyazaki has this insane skill for taking a scene that's really normal and making it irresistible to watch. Being a girl who delivers fresh baked goods around the village, Totoro and the girl standing in the rain, Chihiro and no face on a train in transit, Ponyo trying ham and ramen for the first time. All of these scenes are so iconic to each of the films, yet they're all very normal scenarios. And consequently, these are the exact moments that we often take for granted. Studio Ghibli films have a knack for celebrating the beauty amongst the mundane. Not only do they highlight the beauty, but they make the beauty feel somewhat magical. Whether it's through literal magic like a fire that talks, or a train that commutes through water, or it's just the intentional focus on a moment that leaves us suspended in time. These films successfully romanticize life. If this is the first video you've ever watched from me, all you need to know about one of my hobbies interests is that I am a big lover of the outdoors and especially trees. Recently I have started a series of paintings that are landscapes of places that I've visited before and explored on hikes and different trips and if you want to know more about that I have actually made a full video talking about it and all the fun stuff so I up above. What I did mention in that video is that I decided to take an impressionistic approach to my painting. For a quick lesson in art history, impressionism is an early 20th century art movement originating in France. This movement placed a heavy focus on light Lighting and color through instantaneous painting, often done on plain air, which is fancy talk for painting life in the moment. Famous impressionists include Monet, Degas, Renoir, and Manet, to name a few. What I appreciate about this movement is the emphasis on the transient nature of nature and how beautiful it is. Many landscape impressionist works highlight the colors and lighting throughout the day or different shadows and different movement that you find in a garden or in a scene in town. Additionally, I love that it focuses on the interpretation of the artist instead of it being an exact copy of what the view looks like. It becomes something that is so much more expressive in brush strokes, in color, tonality, to depict what they saw through their own style and through their own appreciation of what's before them. In my paintings, I began honestly because I had a lot of photos that I took during my hikes and my trips. Product of this was realizing that this was the way I could appreciate what I love the most. I started this whole journey because I answered the simple question, what makes me happy? Through this exploration, 
I very quickly fell back in love with painting and I'm quite happy with where it's leading because although my paintings and Studio Ghibli films are stylistically very different, I believe they've started to take on a similar aim to reveal the magic behind the mundane. For me, these paintings are a personal interpretation of each experience that I've had and appreciation for those moments I've had in nature. Through these paintings, I'm able to express the magic that I've felt behind each different journey or adventure that I've had. I'm able to show you guys the walks and the journeys that I've taken through color and these paintings that I've been doing and I find that really exciting. Studio Ghibli reminded me that sometimes the everyday deserves to be celebrated. That can be done merely by pointing a finger at it and letting its own magic do the talking. And that's the kind of painter that I want to be, whose work makes people think, wow, how beautiful is this world? If you've been stuck on where else to draw inspiration from, I suggest you might take a step back and look around you with an eye of appreciation. Sometimes the most magical parts of our lives are those parts that we tend to overlook the most. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, like. If you like me, subscribe, comment down below, all that fun jazz, and until then.